What's going on guys? Mostly Will here and you're watching Try Not To Fail and today we are starting a new adventure and we're gonna play Banjo-Kazooie. That's right, this is another classic. I love this game! Um, believe it or not, I haven't actually played the sequel Banjo-Tooie yet, so maybe that's an adventure we can have! You know, it was a blind playthrough. Because for the most part, I've known all the games that I've played. Um, to some extent, like, you know, I've played them a lot, so I kind of know where a lot of stuff is. Anyway, enough of that chit chat. Banjo-Kazooie was made in 1998, and I just saw it from the copyright, in case you did too, because I don't pay attention to that stuff usually. We're going to start a brand new game, and basically the story is, or actually, you're going to kind of see it now. I will talk over it though anyway, so you can hear my voice constantly. But basically... You have this bear and his bird, Banjo and Kazooie. Kazooie's a bird, Banjo's the bear, blah, 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 blah. So there's this ugly old witch in a castle named Gruntilda, and she thinks she is hot shit. She thinks that she is the purtiest chica in all of Spiral Mountain. And as you can see on the screen, that's not the case. And I think if I pull my finger this way, yeah, that's right. You hear that voice? She ain't looking good. I don't know about you, but I'd have to be fucking drunk to tap that shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. That. At any rate, She's talking to this kettle, which is supposed to be a parallel to the uh, mirror, mirror on the wall type of stuff. And she's trying to find out who the beautifulest person in the world is. Or, and basically her cauldron's like, bitch, just because you're the only girl over here you is. But it's actually Banjo's sister, Tootie, is the prettiest girl in the world. And see how she's like, she's all freaking out because she's upset. So, he's like, well, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. That's like, we gotta come up with a better voice for that. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. And she gets all mad with her purple pink scarf. <laughs> well, she about that. Oh, I love like the rare style of characters that they had. They did such a good job designing like games like this and all that in the 90s. Like Kong is Bad Fur Day, the banjo games. Oh, they just, they did really good with the graphics, especially considering the technical limitations at the time. It was really cool. And this is Goggles or Bottles or something like that. I forget what his name is. Huh. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? <laughs> when my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Yes. I guess we're waiting for Banjo. Banjo, get your fat, nasty ass out. Look at him. He's got a picture of his sister. Like, that's kind of weird. It's only his sister. I don't know. It's it's probably nothing. It's just awfully funny. Weird relation. No, it's not a weird relation. Don't even start with that. It's not incestuous. <laughs> uh oh, here comes that witch. Dude, I don't know what he was thinking. It's like, all right, Kazooie, let's, let's go ahead and build ourselves a house next to that fucking crazy bitch who has the door shaped like her face. How did anyone ever say that was going to be a good idea? That is just not smart. Not smart on anybody's part. I am sorry, there is so much cinematics. I wish I could skip it, but it won't let me. Otherwise, I would have skipped it and we could have started playing. So I do apologize. But, uh... <laughs> Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so she's just, like, beating the shit out of her and, like, kidnapping her. It's just... It's just Genuine still and look Banjo's like sleeping through it all. He is a terrible older brother <laughs> Oh no, she's got her! Somebody help! Banjo, wake up now! <laughs> okay, he could sleep through like all this like crashing and violence going outside and Kazooie's just like <laughs> Wake up Banjo! Big smoke. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I mean that, that makes good sense. That makes perfect sense! All right, four minutes in, we can finally control Banjo. Ooh, look at the flowers. They're like growing through the stone and they're totally like flat as rocks. All right, let's go see what's up. Bottles. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo and he's my buddy, Kazooie. I'm sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Better than you can, bottle boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? <laughs> Tootie! Ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Gigi. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to the mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. 
Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good. I already know. I don't know. I'm going to press B. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Mm, very well, I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Okay, so basically, I skipped the move tutorials because we would have been here for two episodes learning moves, and we don't want that. So before we um, climb up to the top of the mountain and investigate what's going on with our sister, um, an extra honeycomb can be had. So we're going to do a little bit of exploring and make sure we get our uh, uh, honeycombs. So I'll explain. Um, your life in this game is measured in honeycombs, and I believe we have four or five to start with. And as you can see on the screen here, um, on the stump across, um, that is a empty honeycomb. These are unique to the other ones. You collect six pieces and you get a whole other piece of health. And he's gonna explain to you just what I did, but in more words and probably more understandable way. So anyway, um, we don't have the cool power slash ability that Kazooie gets where you can run faster, so we have to move kind of painstakingly slow with Banjo's chubby legs. Chubby bare legs. Alright, so I kind of know where most of them are, so hopefully this part will be quick. I'm just going to pick them up because you need that extra life. That's one thing about this game I will say is that its difficulty isn't bad at the start at all, but by the time you get to the third or fourth world, um, it does actually progressively get a little bit harder, and you know, you could use the extra life. Look at that trophy. To the water! That's right. Yo-ho! Uh -huh. That's right. Look out for me, I'm an extra life. A flexing banjo. In case your banjo goes bad, we have a replacement program. Oh, so yeah, uh, we're not doing too bad. How many... Holy shit! That doesn't work so well, does it? <laughs> Don't use the pause menu. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and nab ourselves this honeycomb. By the way, I have this game um, on N64, if that concerns anybody. The only reason I'm not uh, recording straight from my N64 is that I don't know if I have bad cables or something, but basically I can't... Um, oh, hold on. Here. Press Z. I can't record with it because every 30 seconds, the signal just drops for a full one or two seconds. The problem is, though, is that that cuts like literally all the video and audio in between so what happens is is if i'm recording my audio with another program on another computer i have to go and find these spots which happen every 30 seconds so imagine even just one 10 minute episode i'd have to go to each spot and measure how long i have to cut out and cut out the pieces of my voiceover you'd be missing pieces of, it, it's not usable it's not realistic at all yes there's a six piece yeah we got an extra piece of life flex as Mark Plus says, it's a gun show! I don't have guns. Don't look at me. Yes, but now we have six pieces of life, and that's great. That's good for the beginning levels. But, um, but yeah, so that's the only reason I can't record N64 stuff. That, and, um, one thing I noticed was, uh, if you, um... Mmm, I'm sticky, tasty, honey, energy. <laughs> um, if you play with this particular emulator, it actually runs really, really well, so, like... Um, my frame rate's better and I actually get a slightly higher resolution recording so it's a little bit more pure than the um, than just using um, Will doesn't know how to talk today because he's too busy trying to climb a spiral mountain but yeah basically it ended up being better so that's the only reason I chose this over is because I can't get good quality recordings and I want this to be a great show so my bad okay bottles Let's see what he says. Cross the bridge to enter. Oh, we can uh, cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. I'm sorry. I hope that's not offensive. Um, but let's go ahead and go to Grunty's castle. Let's see what we can find. Oh shit! The first episode's already almost over. Oh my goodness, Gruntilda, what have you done? She's like, oh, I'm gonna be pretty. This fine contraption is so I'm told will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. She like doesn't rhyme. Rescue he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Clungo, push that switch. It's like I'm fucking getting over there, bitch. Yes, Mr. Country. Power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo, help! Oh my goodness. She's so sad. I feel so bad for her. <laughs> my teeth are bad. 
There he is, fun begins. My tricks and traps, we'll see who wins. Okay, so this works in a similar way to Mario 64. Um, you have just like this overworld layer that you kind of go through. Except in this, we're not collecting stars, we're connect collecting uh, jigsaw pieces. So you see our first land here on the right, it is just an area, right? So the way that you unlock these is a little bit different, it's kind of creative, is you go to these pictures and they're usually missing a piece. And Bottles is going to explain what I have here. Okay, okay. I don't want to talk to you though, dude. So anyway, in order to enter the land, you have to complete the picture. And you complete these by getting jigsaw pieces. So as you can see, we're missing one piece here. That's a problem, G. Because we want to go to the world and start climbing this tower to save our sister from getting gruntified. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to collect ourselves a jiggy. That's right, we're getting jiggy with it. That's some stanky justice. And um, basically, our first jiggy is obtained quite easily by just hopping up these small hill-like type things. Hey! Oh, see, I was gonna do the thing, but a picture missing. Woo! We got one jiggy. Let's get jiggy with it, y'all. Do a little bit of a jingle jiggy, uh, jigs. <clears throat> but yes, now we can complete our picture, and we can unlock the first land of Banjo Kazooie. Let's see what happens. <laughs> We've got the first jigsaw piece, Cocky Boy. Great! To fill in amazing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. We're gonna use our one piece. That's it! The picture's complete and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open! That was such an easy fit! The others may just test your wit! No. No. At any rate, that's the first episode of Banjo Kazooie, guys. The adventure hasn't started yet, but that was hopefully a good primer on the story and how the game works and how you progress. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys continue to watch my new series, and uh, it's great hanging out with you. Until next time, see ya!